Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes Back. Hey guys, Chris Voltage Coke here. To begin. Uh, today we're playing Crash Bandicoot 2. Now <laughs> every game starts to be fun. <laughs> Crystals. Of course. Oh look, plot. <laughs> With the little plot this game has. <laughs> but Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Okay, so let me get this straight. You want me to go out there, find a battery in a forest. Let me repeat. Forest. <laughs> hey guys, Voltage Coke here. And yeah. We'll start off our little adventure with Crash. I'm playing this. I have the PS1 game, but playing it on the PS3. So we'll see how this goes out. And yes, you could play PS1 games on the PS3, regardless of what version you have. Even if they can't play PS2 games, they could play PS1 games. It's really weird. Should I go in? Should I go in? What is this? Oh no! Sister, I'm being abducted! Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here. But I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Um... Okay, that's the plot so far. Grab crystals. Let's head to Turtle Woods. Which is specifically labeled level one. <laughs> Alright, it's the most simplest level. Crash Bandicoot's a pretty straightforward game. It's kind of like Mario, where you just go through the level. Although, I guess in Mario, you kind of have to look for stuff. This one, not so much. And it's the little bonus levels you'd go to. I guess technically this one isn't a bonus level, it's just an extra area where you could still die. Maybe this is a challenge stage, that's what I'll call these. These are challenge stages. Checkpoint. Thank you. 
Alright, so this is going to be a 100% playthrough. Um, crap. I just said 100%, I didn't get those boxes. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can still get these boxes. Nope. I obviously fall. Start over from here. Come on, this is the first level. I can do this. Probably also wasn't the smart thing. Okay, to do this part, you need to like go fast. So it's that, and you zoom through. Like so. It was after they do that, they will not come back up. So. Oh, so Cortex wants us to get all these crystals. But, as you'll see at the end of this level, there's other certain collectibles you can get in this game. Alright, there's my Abuka Booga mask. I know that's not what it's actually called, but that's what I call it. Because that's what he says when he comes out of the box. Okay, here's the actual bonus stage. So if you die here, you don't lose a life. Oh, my apples. Okay, I'll, I'll try to collect more apples. <laughs> I just keep throwing them aside. I'm like, I don't need these. First level. Although, if I want to actually rack up lives, that's what I'm going to have to do. Freaking spiky turtles. Yeah, I glitched through the wall there. <laughs> That's how you know this is like a early gen game. Or what generation is this game from? I don't know what to call any of these generations anymore. I think we're currently on the... Let's say the 8th generation. Alright, there's my Boo 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 mask. He's powered up now. There you go. Try to get an extra life. <laughs> okay, so that other collectible I was talking about, you need to get all of the boxes throughout any stages. So that's how you get this collectible. Which I'm still hiding from you, even though you probably know what it is. <laughs> Alright, here's Crystal, that Cortex. Even though it's technically my arch nemesis helping him. Very good plot. And the pause story is okay. I mean, a lot of like collectible games. Okay, this stutter. Um, collectible we needed to get. Because I got all the boxes. There's my crystal, and there's my gem, it's called the gem. I said gem, but it's it's pronounced gem. <laughs> well done, Crash! I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. No, I'm not here. What are you talking about? Also, didn't your battery freaking run out? Alright, let's go to... Snow go. All 
Alright. Now we need super powered up. If you get three of these Booga Booga masks, you power up to extreme length. goes back to stage two. Ice physics. Uh, there you go. Alright, not fear this one. I'm just sliding all over the place right now. Uh, you made me downgrade. How dare you. <laughs> That was me just being careless there. It's okay, there's a checkpoint right here. Alright, let's not get crushed there. Oh, it was right there. I was so close. Alright, got it this time. And as soon after I die. Alright, you might see the gym there. There's a way to get it right now. But I'm gonna do it the legit way and get it later on. Because you can't actually get it from the stage. No, no, no. Okay. Let's hit this first. Alright. See you later, Apple. Alright, bonus round. Bonus rounds are sometimes really hard. But not as hard as the challenge areas. Or the death roots. I think some of them are called death roots. I jump. I jump. Alright, that worked. So far, so good. Keep breaking those instead of jumping on them. I think I'm just lazy. I'm like, let's go. Alright. Booga booga. And follow the arrows. Don't forget to... Or you're kind of screwed with the, the gem. Alright, let's jump on these for once. You know I never do that. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of giving up there. I kind of wish you could just jump on it once and it gave you 10 apples. Because that's how much they equate to. Um. Oh, I see it. See a question mark box? That's gonna help me make these better ones up here. This is really one of the hardest things to get. Oh god. Did I just screw myself? No, I don't think I did. Ah, I did it again. Oh well. At least I think I got all the boxes. I'll show you what happens when it's not there. Oh man, I was so close. I missed one box. Hopefully that won't happen to us a lot. Or, you know, and to keep going back through levels. Cutting. Editing. All in good fun. In due time, though. Alright, and I think that's going to end this episode. So I'll catch you guys next time in Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes Back. Right after this cutscene, that's probably happening. Yep.
Ten. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash. <laughs> you know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, 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 to stop you. <laughs> fate of the world is truly your concern. You must g g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser. <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering... Hmm. So two opposing villains and I'm helping one of them right now but I'm also helping another one by getting the gems so we'll see what happens next time in Crash Bandicoot 2 signing off